Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Whether your repair is simple or complex, you'll be more successful if you break the procedure down into steps, making it more manageable. I'll take you through this part replacement repair one step at a time. To replace the transmission assembly in your GE washer, these are the tools you'll need. Before you begin the procedure, shut off the water supply. Unplug the power to the appliance. Remove the drain line from the wall. Remove the hot and cold water supply lines from the inlet valves. Remove the fabric softener dispenser. For the next step, the auger and base have been taken out of the appliance for better visual. Align the raised bump with the opening on the auger. Use the screwdriver to puncture through the inner shaft of the auger. Then twist clockwise until the auger releases and lift it out. This will be difficult. Be sure to hold the basket from rotating. Unthread the 11 millimeter bolt. Lift out the base. Unthread the 33 millimeter nut clockwise. This will be difficult. Pull out the Belleville washer. Tip the washer back and prop it up using a wooden block or chair. Unthread the screw securing the main harness to the bottom of the tub. Unthread the three screws on the protective belt cover to remove it. Unthread the two nuts that secure the pulleys. Pull the belt off of the big pulley first, then remove it. Pull the motor pulley off the shaft. Attach the pulley remover to the transmission pulley and tighten down until it comes off. Unplug the drain pump and mode shifter. Unthread the three screws holding the drain pump in place. Detach the drain pump. With the needle nose pliers, remove the mode shifter and drain pump connectors from the dual bracket. Unthread the screw that secures the bracket, then pull and slide it out from the transmission. Unthread the two screws securing the shifter. Pull the shifter away from the clutch. 
The spring and clutch will come off with the shifter. Pull up on the red safety tab to unlock the speed sensor connector, then unplug it. Unplug the motor. Unthread the two half inch bolts that secure the motor to the transmission to remove it. Unthread the eight screws that secure the transmission to the tub. Set a towel or cushion for the transmission to fall on and then set the washer upright. You can set a 2x4 on the shaft and hammer it until the transmission releases from the tub. Set the washer on its back again. Remove the hub washer. Remove the two wire retainers for the drain pump and main wire harness. Release the three retaining clips securing the main harness. This will be difficult. and remove the transmission. To install the new transmission assembly, set the hub washer over the transmission shaft. Then insert the shaft into the basket. Spin the shaft to align the spline gear and seat the transmission in the tub. Rethread the eight screws to fully secure the transmission to the tub. Then insert the four wire retaining harnesses for the main harness back into the transmission. Snap the drain pump retaining harness back into the transmission. Insert the two motor mount pegs into the transmission and rethread the bolts. Plug in the motor. Plug in the speed sensor and push down on the red tab to lock the connector.
slide the spring over the transmission shaft. Then align the splines and slide the clutch onto the shaft. Place the shifter on the clutch and insert the pegs into the transmission. Hold it in position while starting the first screw. Once threaded, re-thread the other screw and tighten both. Slide the bracket tabs into the slots and then re-thread the screw to secure. Snap the connector into the bracket. Attach the pump to the tub. Rethread the three screws. Plug in the drain pump and mode shifter. Slide the pulleys onto the shafts and line it up with the splines. Thread the nuts onto the shafts. While tightening, the pulleys will seat into position. Place the belt rib side facing inward over the big pulley, then stretch the belt over the small pulley. Rotate the pulleys to align the belt properly. Align the cover and start one of the three screws. Place the grounding connector over the screw and re-thread it to the bottom of the transmission. Now re-thread the last screw. Re-thread the screw to secure the main harness to the bottom of the tub. Set the washer upright. Place the Belleville washer on the transmission shaft with the green dot facing upward. Rethread the 33mm nut going counterclockwise. Align the base with the spline shaft and set it into the appliance. Rethread the 11 mm bolt to secure. Set the auger over the tabs and twist counterclockwise to lock it in place. Align the dispenser to the grooves of the auger and press firmly to secure in place. Set the top back on the washer and attach the harness retainer. Align and firmly press down on the front of the top to secure it in place. Rethread the two quarter inch screws.
Rethread the ground screw to secure the ground wire to the top of the panel. Push the hose over the sensor. Now plug in all the harnesses into their designated spots on the control board. Insert the data port. Plug the wires back into the capacitor. Slide the capacitor back into its groove. Tilt the backsplash upright and insert the tabs into the slots. Push forward to lock it in place. Insert the panel tabs into the slots on the backsplash, then slide it left to secure it. Rethread the two screws. Insert the drain hose back into the wall drain. Reattach the hot and cold water supply lines. Turn on the water supply. Plug in the power. And your washer should be ready for use.